I'm Michael from Easy Paper, and today I'll be introducing our Save to Easy Paper extension. It's easy to use because it does only one thing and one thing well. It saves the current web page to your Downloads Easy Paper folder. The first step is to install it by clicking Add to Edge, or if I was in the Chrome Web Store, Add to Chrome, and then for convenience's sake, pin it to your browser taskbar. Now go to any web page and click Save to Easy Paper to save it to your Downloads Easy Paper folder. Double click the saved web page to verify that it's an identical copy to the web page I just saved, except that it now lives offline on my computer. That means if the web page disappears or gets locked behind a paywall in the future, I will still have access to it on my computer, even if I'm disconnected from the internet. Save to Easy Paper is not perfect though. Its biggest weakness is that there are no configuration options for specifying the name, location, or file type of the saved web page. Other extensions allow you to specify the portion of the web page you want to save, and even download multiple web pages at a time. If you are looking for the ultimate in flexibility, then there are better extensions that fit the way you work. But if you're looking for an extension that just works, ours does precisely because we stripped away all the configuration options. A single click saves the current web page in an open format and then gets out of the way. If you want to do anything more complicated, the output is a text editable file which you can edit in an external program to your heart's content. For you tech geeks out there, the save file format is .mht, which is essentially an HTML file package with some metadata. The most important metadata is the date I downloaded the file and the address of the original website. We believe that the power, and therefore complexity, doesn't belong in the Chromium extension, but in the custom tool set you set up on your computer to make it work the way you want it to. For those of us who just want to save a web page, a single click is all we need and provide. It's also why we hard coded the save directory to be the downloads easy paper folder. Other extensions save their web pages to the downloads folder, and if you're like me, you can have dozens of files in your downloads folder and anything saved to it just gets lost. If you want the web page saved somewhere else, then just move it. At least you know where to find it rather than waste time hunting for the file. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, the Save to Easy Paper extension is free, both as in beer and as in speech. You can install Save to Easy Paper on any Chromium-based browser for free and never pay a cent. It's our gift to you. We promise that there will never be any tracking code, advertising, or analytics in this extension. There never has and never will be any code that calls home or collects any information from you, private or otherwise. The Save to Easy Paper extension just does what it says on the tin. It saves the current web page to your Downloads Easy Paper folder for offline viewing, and it does so instantaneously without adding anything superfluous that could screw things up. You can verify that for yourself because the code is open source, and you are free to read it, verify that it does what we say it does, and request support from the link in the description below. Save to Easy Paper is a really simple extension by design, so it can't do what Easy Paper is really known for inserting properly formatted citations in Microsoft Word. That's beyond what can be done in a Chromium extension, so for our marquee feature, Easy Importer, you'll need Easy Paper. Easy Paper is a Microsoft Word add-on that formats your paper according to the APA, MLA, Turabian, and AMA formats. I'll include the download link in the description below, as well as a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to install it. To demonstrate the Easy Importer feature, let me bring up an actual paper that I wrote with Easy Paper as part of my PhD studies. Click Easy Import menu and then Import Website Reference. There, do you see the reference I imported through the Save to Easy Paper extension? Click Insert to insert a perfectly formatted footnote into your paper and scroll down to check the updated bibliography, all without having to type in anything. Easy Importer works for books too. Go to worldcat.org, which is the world's largest library catalog, and then search for something. Select a search result, and then click Save to Easy Paper. You now have an offline copy of the citation, which is instantaneously imported into Easy Paper. Click Insert, and you're done. So with Easy Importer, you can cite practically any book you can find in the library in two clicks. One to save the book to Easy Paper, and another to insert it into your paper. Easy Importer supports Amazon Books too. Find the book you're looking for, and click Save to Easy Paper. Click Insert, and you're done. It just takes two clicks to cite any book on Amazon, whether it be a Kindle book or a regular paperback. Importing from Google Books is a similar process. Search for the book and then click through to the page where it contains the citation data you're looking for. For Google Books, the preview page does not contain the publisher information, 
but the About This Book link does. Most websites, including Google Books and Amazon, don't include the place of publication, so you can waste hours hunting it down if you're using a format that requires it, like Terabium. We've solved that problem. Click Save to Easy Paper to import it into Easy Paper, and Easy Importer will search for it in the background to get the place of publication for you. It usually succeeds as long as the publisher discloses their place of publication, something that self-publishers sometimes don't do. Easy Importer supports importing books from other popular book listing sites, including Book Depository, Open Library, Scribd, and more. The list is growing all the time, and you can check out the currently supported list of websites in the description below. Easy Importer works for journal articles too. The best free search engine for journal articles is Google Scholar. My PhD topic is on the GIFT, so I search for it and then click Cite for the article I want to cite. Easy Importer supports all the common citation formats, including BibText, EndNote, RefMan, and RefWorks. If you have a choice of export formats, though, like in Google Scholar, choose the RefMan RIS format, as it's the most widely supported and standardized export format available. Download the citation, click Insert, and you're done. JSTOR is another journal aggregation site that supports the RIS format. In fact, nearly all of them do. Exporting to RIS is a multi-step process specific to each journal aggregator, but you can usually find the export feature if you look hard enough. Just save the RIS file, and Easy Importer will automatically move it to the Downloads Easy Paper folder and import it. For JSTOR, there's an easier way though. I'll remove the reference in Easy Paper, and then click Save to Easy Paper on the JSTOR article page. This one-click interface is unique to Easy Importer. There's no other product out there that is as fast or is as accurate for importing references as Easy Importer. It works for EBSCO too. Click once to import the reference, and then click a second time to insert it into your paper. With Easy Importer, you'll never have to type in a reference again. In addition to books and journal aggregation, Easy Importer also supports major research sites like Wikipedia and reputable magazines and newspapers such as the New York Times. It's not possible for Easy Importer to support every single website out there. There's just too many of them. However, we don't have to. All we have to do is support the websites that you actually use in your research. That's why we made Easy Importer a subscription service. If you ever run into a website that doesn't import correctly, click Report Error, and we'll get back to you by email in a couple of days as developer support is part of the subscription service. As long as the website has the required information on it, like author and date, then we should be able to support it. It's an ongoing, never-ending project to support all the websites that Easy Paper customers use for their research. So we'll prioritize research-grade websites that get lots of requests for us to support. Clicking Report Error adds your vote for that particular website and increases the priority that we would write code to support it. Since Easy Importer is a subscription service, it's in our interests, as well as yours, to respond quickly to your requests or else we would lose your business. Easy Importer is like having your own personal researcher who will do all the data entry for you to cite any book, journal article, or website in the world, so you can focus on writing, not citing. If you consider how much time Easy Importer saves you in the citation process and the cost of paying a researcher to do that for you, then the Easy Importer subscription service with developer support is a steal of the deal. But you don't have to take our word for it, the download links to the Save to Easy Paper extension and the Easy Paper add-on to Microsoft Word are in the description below. So you can try them out for free and see if they work for you.